it is Sunday and we've come into Richmond Park, although the weather is confusing. It's supposed to be nice today, but these big grey things keep gathering on the horizon. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. It's rained once already. Um, we've just come for a bit of a walk just to get out of the house because I didn't leave the house yesterday. And we need to do a bit more packing when we get back because we're leaving for the Cotswolds tomorrow. Although tomorrow's going to be quite wet, so we might not leave too early. At the moment, we're just sitting and watching the view, aren't we? Yeah. The view is a very busy Richmond Park. Good morning. Happy Monday. Today is a very wet day all over the United Kingdom, um, which is, you know, a shame. Uh, except if you're a plant, in which case it's excellent. Uh, it means that the uh, cricket is most likely not going to get any play today. <laughs> so boo to that. Um, we are going to the Cotswolds for our summer mini break. And it's not a bad day to travel, actually. Um, you're not missing anything. And the weather the rest of the week looks good. So we're, I'm just doing a bit of provisioning before we go buying things that we need for lunch and whatnot and then we're going to stop again around Sirencester and go to Aldi and buy provisions for our stay. Um, this is the first proper break we've taken Amelia on. We did go um, down towards Froome, I might remember, in February but one she was very small and didn't really interact a lot so she wasn't really aware of her surroundings and two, she slept terribly because she was going through a sleep regression. So the whole thing's a bit of a sort of dreamy blur. So hopefully, well, there's no guarantees, we will have a slightly more successful holiday. Plus, the uh, rest of the family is meeting us at various points. My parents are staying in Tepri. Uh, Alex and Anna and the boys are staying in Minchin Hampton, so we can meet up for walks and it should be really nice. Well, welcome to our cottage for the week. We are near Tetbury, just north of Tetbury, in a place called Tetbury Upton. Um, and Amelia is up, asleep upstairs. Amazing, <laughs> genuinely amazing. We'll see whether it lasts. And I'll just give you a quick guided tour of where we are. It's a little breezy. So oh, car, there's the main house. So we're staying in the cottage. Next door. That's the, mm, our, our room, I think. Amelia's room is this one up here. It looks out over this beautiful field of wheat. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And there's a Cotswold stone wall there. Yeah, that's our room up there. And there's just wheat everywhere. I mean, I'll probably be told it's barley now, but there's crops everywhere. I'm just going for an evening walk. It is so nice here. <laughs> Look, there's a swing. Beehives, which I'm very excited about. Obviously, look at the light. Isn't it crazy? It's like a really low sun setting over there. But then it's really dark clouds over here. Oh, let's go down here. I don't know if the bees, it looks kind of shut up, but we'll see if there's any bees. How can you not want to live in the countryside when you see this? It's magnificent. It's just, yeah, it's amazing. I'm, I'm so happy. Like that, we had so many plans for summer holidays this year, and they all seemed completely impossible. And as it turns out, they were. Um, I wanted to go to Ireland, and you know, like take a meal to France, and maybe we still will on that. But who knows? But this is such a you know sometimes a compromise can be excellent this is such an excellent compromise like the Cotswolds 
are amazing and the rest of the week's gonna be really nice weather much like it is right now and there's nowhere like quite so green and English that is so pleasant um, I'm very happy we've made it I'm very happy we're here a week although frankly I could stay forever <laughs> but you know we'll start with a week and see how we go you might have noticed that we come to the Cotswolds reasonably regularly, um, at least sort of once a year we average. We've actually, we were on the edge of the Cotswolds when we came in February, we, um, we're a bit further south, but um, we come this way a lot, I should say. And um, I, the, the reason being as of late is because of the vineyard in Newant, um, which we've been to a lot and Crystal bought me, of sponsored vine for my birthday back in 2012, I think it was, and that was kind of the impetus. And we've been sort of coming quite regularly to this part of the world since then. Um, but further back than that, obviously I lived in Bristol for a long time and, and this was never that far away, although only came in a couple of times in my many years there. But further back still, um, when we were kids, we used to come here a lot because my grandparents, my mum's parents lived um, up on the common above Stroud in, near Minch and Hampton and it's a wonderful place where they lived and um, you know they were they both died when we were reasonably young I think my grand well my grandfather died when I was I think 10 and or 9 and my grandmother when I was 16 or so but it was actually the early years when my grandfather was still alive that was the most special and uh, it was such a relaxing place to come and I don't think I appreciated it as a kid their garden was amazing but I didn't appreciate the fact they always wanted to go for a walk <laughs> I was always a bit you know reticent because I wanted to play with whatever toy I had in the living room and what have you but um, it's kind of ingrained in me and it has it has stuck and it takes sometimes a few years of life to truly appreciate something. And, uh, well, I truly appreciate it now, that's for sure. Being able to go for like a half past eight walk through the Cotswold countryside is just perfect. You sometimes forget what a huge influence your grandparents have on you, even though you only know them usually for a very small amount of your life. Um, it's quite powerful and, and part of it goes with the fact that not being your parents <laughs> means that the, the, the balance in terms of what you can do and what you can't do is very much in your favour. <laughs> so they instantly seem like <laughs> very often more appealing than your parents. But also it's because they're from another time and I think that's quite powerful. Like they, they, they lived a different life that you can't comprehend when you're young and it makes them wise and interesting and um, just something that as a child you are just all mesmerized by. And now I only knew my mum's parents. My dad's parents were both dead before I was born. So their influence is less obviously, um, but it's not non-existent. It, it does still, it echoes through people. Um, my dad's dad, for example, like his love of photography and um, his, I suppose his ethos is something I feel I can understand. I might not share it, but I understand it. My dad's mum, I mean, I knew even less in some ways and she's the, maybe the most English part of our family. Um, and that's the bit I identify with the weakest. But it's all important. It's what makes you. All these bits added together is, you know, what makes you your whole you. Um, but the grandparents I did know, the, the, the love of the outdoors, the love of this part of England, the, the fact that they were German and their, their um, Germanness, if you will, all of those things are sort of tightly woven into me as a character and um, I'm very grateful for it.
Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good boy, leaving your fingers close. A, 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 a,
Good morning. So I should have filmed more yesterday because it was an interesting trip down memory lane, but I was kind of a bit in the moment and sometimes getting the camera out sort of takes you away from the, the event. Um, I do have a feeling we'll be back to where we went, which is Bonham Park, which is where my grandparents used to live. It's the house you saw. Because we popped in, saw some neighbours and they were like, oh, they'd really like to see the... This is the couple who we sold the house to many years ago. They still live there. So, who knows? Maybe next time we'll have a proper nose around and a film. Anyway, today we are at Woodchester Park. Um, we are the first to arrive, despite the fact that we had to get all the baby things ready and what have you. My parents will be here shortly. And then Alex and the boys are coming. Anna is going off to see her friend who we met the other day who lives in Castle Coombe or just around the corner in Long Dean. It's a beautiful day, it's a proper summer's day with a little breeze and beautiful sunshine. And Woodchester Park is set in this valley here. So it's reasonably shaded and sheltered from the, the sun that we're gonna to have today. So that should be nice. We've got a picnic. We've got polystyrene planes. We've got everything we could need. We've come into Minchinhampton after our lovely walk in Woodchester, again, which I didn't film much of. <laughs> you get a much nicer holiday when you film less, but you don't have so much to remember, so you have to come back. Anyway, um, we're gonna have green teas tomorrow on the common. We've just ordered them from the little cafe here. It's so quiet. I barely remember Minchinhampton as a kid. I know I came here a few times. I don't remember it being as pretty as it is. But there we go. It's lovely. We got an insomniac with eyes wide shut And we got everything we need and then a little too much I know that you're starving for something you can't touch Would you be honest with me right now? There's something in the undercurrent I can feel it coming up Don't you wanna feel it? Taking over your senses Don't you ever feel Technologic advances Baby, come escape with me I'll come sweep you off of your feet Don't you wanna feel it? Don't you wanna? Don't you wanna? I think there's something in my body That's weighing me down Oh, it's just the weight of the world Now I'm calling it out We're a little starving For some lightning love Can we speak honestly right now? This is our cottage on the right, and this is where we decamped for today because it's very hot. And we've got a bit of shade, and uh, it's a lovely day. And I'm standing in a field of barley. It's so hot, it's so summery and nice. Yeah. 